Hello everyone and welcome to Unborn, what is meant to be a non-linear horror game set in a forest and we are going to explore an abandoned manor. Now, apparently this game, as well as being a non-linear horror game, has elements of puzzle and mystery as well, and that was enough to pique my interest, frankly. So, looking forward to this one. Here we go. If you want to try this out yourselves, you can. I'll leave the link down below in the description to where you can buy it and download this, okay? It's actually one of Steam's recent releases. But yes, here we are, in the rain, traipsing through the forests. <laughs> Things are getting better and better already. Hope you enjoy it. Wow, okay. Don't know if you needed to dive out of the way, but it's probably good you did. And here we are, we're in control. Oh, I see, so that fell in the exact right location to stop me from going back and getting my raincoat. Fair enough. Okay, nobody, never mind. Onwards and upwards. Let's go. Let's see if we can find this manor. Get out of the rain. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This is interesting. A, a non-linear horror game. Now, I need to find out exactly what that means, really, because that could be a good or a bad thing. I'm hoping it's not like a substitute for any structure, like they made this manor in the forest and they didn't really know what to do with it, so they just thought, yeah, you do something, you know? Hopefully there's going to be something. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out in due course, won't we? Also, it's a mystery game, and frankly, I have no idea what the mystery is, and I suppose that in and of itself is a mystery. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's it. But yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've got high hopes for this. I'm hoping for something maybe a little bit like, um... Okay. Oh, we can jump, but there's right click to... to grab objects and move them around. Okay, so we treat them like physical objects. Cool, there's a little bit of physics here. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe, at least story-wise, this is a little bit akin to scratches or something of that level, of that caliber. Wow, it's a pretty big place. Yeah, maybe gameplay-wise, this is going to be something like Pineview Drive. But if that's the case, I just hope the story doesn't come with it. Right, so if this is a non-linear horror game, and I can pretty much go where I want whenever I want, I am going to stay in the rain and have a look outside. Let's see, what have we got? A little bit of a bench around this tree. Not much else. Can we go around the side? Oh no! An invisible barrier already? Come on, game! <laughs> never mind, never mind. Well, let's try the other side. Seems like we can run. Okay, maybe we need to. What have we got here? Chopped up wood? Looks like it. Nothing in the box, but yeah, that seems to be a physical object as well. I don't know if we can grab it. Oh, right, yeah, we can grab this stuff. I just need to learn to, to right-click things instead of left-click them, it seems. Cool. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should be doing some sort of busy work. Uh, ah, and that's, I suppose, how we got the chopped wood. Can I pick up the axe? I'm trying left-click, right-click, E, F. Nothing's working. I guess we don't get the axe. Uh. Again, I'm not sure if there is an element of threat in this game. There might be. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Looks like there's something over here, though. I guess let's check this out. Ah, oh, the door's locked. I'll need to find a key. So if I need to find a key... We can't go everywhere straight away, but... Does that also mean we get, like, an inventory or something? Oh, we do! Yes, I is inventory. And it looks like we didn't actually bring anything with us. It's always nice when you play as someone who came prepared. We can click and drag to rotate items, okay. And then use and drop them when we find them. Cool, alright. Now let's see, can we can we go around the back of this place? Can I climb over those rocks? I doubt I can, but I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that steep. Oh man! <laughs> You're taking the wind out of my sail. Oh well, never mind. Oh, we can have a little look inside, through the window. That's quite nice. I do like the effect of the rain running down the glass. All in all, this game does look pretty good. It's not shabby at all, is it? I don't know what engine this is on, actually. I think it might be the Unreal Engine. But that is just a guess. 
Anyway, I guess I've been putting this off for a little bit too long. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go inside. It looks like we don't need a key for the front door. Here we go. This does look like a pretty big place. How many floors has it got? At least two. Right, okay. So it's just like left click for the doors. Yeah. I guess some are going to be locked, some aren't. Right, what do we got here? It's, oh, right. Okay, I guess this is the first item. It's a note. Um, June the 1st. <laughs> One gram, four gram. No, 1949. Okay. Welcome to your new home. This estate was built in 1924 for the Hartwood family and was abandoned in 1938 after the father had passed and the rest of the family had moved on. At least until you found and bought the land. The shape of the manor is a bit rough around the edges, but with some renovations it will look wonderful and up to date. I was a young maid for the Hartwood family before they left, so if you have any concerns or need a tour around the estate, I would be more than welcome to. I wish you and your family happiness. Sincerely, Elizabeth. Right, so I've I've bought the place, and maybe that's why I'm sort of, you know, roaming around here in the rain, scouting it out. Cool, okay. And yeah, a little bit like Layers of Fear and, well, many other games these days. We can just turn stuff around and check all the details of it. That's cool. Oh, but that isn't... That isn't actually added to the inventory. Well, that's okay, I suppose. As long as it remains there. I guess it can't get lost, can it? Cool! Right, well, um... I suppose we probably want to stay on this floor before we move on. Let's see. Ah, the board won't budge. There might be something... Oh, hold on. What? Did it say pry? Uh, maybe we're not looking for the axe, but I'm just going to try the axe again. I mean, maybe we can chop them. Maybe now that I've seen the boards, now I can pick this up. No, it looks pretty well embedded into the stump, actually. I don't think that's going to be the answer. I guess we're looking for something a little bit more like a crowbar. Never mind. Oh! <laughs> okay, good job the boards are doing it. We can still open the door. Can we just crawl under? No? Uh, no. I guess I've got, like, back problems. I don't really want to go prone or anything. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, well, I guess that's, like, a, another wing of the place. What's this? Oh, this is how we save. Okay. Sure, sure. Well, um, I actually might be using this a little bit more than I usually do, because... Well, according to the only Steam review that I've seen of this game thus far, you know, the game is apparently, or at least was, uh, a buggy mess. And apparently the reviewer actually got caught in a situation where he was locked in a room and couldn't get out, so... Yeah, I'm gonna save so that doesn't happen to me. We've got a newspaper clipping here. It says, The famous brewery burns down. The local cravat brewery was found engulfed in flames on October the 18th during the night. The fire was put out, but unfortunately there was not much left of the brewery. The police do not know the cause of the fire, but are looking into the situation. Okay. I was wondering if there was going to be an article on the back, but there is no back to this newspaper. Don't put it down upside down, you'll never find it again. Okay. I guess, you know, there are still a few bugs. Like, I don't know if I'm actually meant to open that door, really. <laughs> ah, there you go. Okay, so we do actually have electricity and there's working lights. What about the candles? Do we... what? Well, we don't have matches or anything like that, do we? No lighter. Hmm. Oh well. Well, I guess I should look out for lamps. Maybe a lantern or something. What about these? Yeah, I guess I can't turn them on. Do, uh, maybe there's light switches and I just haven't seen them. Wasn't really looking, to be honest. Now, what was that? It was like 1949? I don't know precisely when this is set. I guess I got a flashlight, so it's fairly, fairly modern, I guess. Anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's start here, I guess, right? Something down there? Doesn't look like it, no. A few blank pages, but nothing I can pick up. Hmm. Yeah, the game actually does look pretty good. I don't think... You know, or at least I, I can't tell that this is all made out of, like, a Unity asset pack or something. It might be. Uh, let's see, there's a lamp over there. I guess we should probably get that on. Maybe that's what I should be doing, just going around and turning all the lights on. What about...
about these books over here. Again, left clicking, right clicking, nothing seems to be working. Nah, okay, I guess they're just... They're sticking around. Ooh, what are they? Actually, let's see. Can I grab... Okay, I can actually have a look at this, uh, this frame. It's a family photo. A photo of the family who used to live here. Right, a mother, a father, brother, and a sister. Anything on the back? No. Not this time, but, you know, I guess we can drag stuff like this around because there will be subtle details and stuff, and maybe double-sided notes, stuff like that. It looks like there's a couple of matchsticks back there, though. Can I not pick those up? Oh, shit, I can! Wait, what? Uh, well, I've got one. I don't know where the other one went, but I've got one. Don't know what to do with it. Uh, I guess we need to find a fire. I tell you what, tell you what. I'm going to put it back where it was. <laughs> and I know... Whoa! Okay. This game is still a bit of a buggy mess. If a match can fling me across the fucking room. Holy shit. Right, it's down there. I'm just going to leave it where it is. And hopefully I don't die to a match. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Holy shit. Is there something down there? There's actually writing on this one. And it looks a little brighter than the others. Yes, okay. I've been reading through this book learning about resurrection, but there doesn't seem to be a documented way of bringing a human back to life. There are mentions of a blue fire that the writer labels as spirit fire, but I haven't seen any blue fire, so how would I even be able to start experimenting? The only thing down in the chamber is the circle. Okay. Resurrection, chamber, circles. All right. I guess that's part of the mystery. All right, yeah, the, the game is keeping my interest, honestly. Right, let's move on to the uh, the dining room area, I suppose. Looks like there might be a couple of notes to have a look at. Let's start with this one. Kitchen currently under renovation. And that's about it. All right. Ah. Unlike the other one, I, I can't open the door. I can't even look at the boards. They're not even highlighted, so... Maybe we just can't go in? I guess that would be the kitchen through there. Right. Is that another note? It is. Okay. I guess there's going to be a lot of reading in this game. I can't sleep at night. I spend all day struggling to hold myself together at the brewery, just to come home and read through pages to try and bring Mary back. The only thing that keeps me from losing control is to drink in secrecy while at work. It at least gets me through the day, but something needs to change. Mary is all that matters. So you're trying to resurrect Mary, and that's that's the woman in the photo, I take it. Alright. Another lamp goes on. I wonder, if I revisit this area, will the, uh, the lamps be mysteriously turned off? Maybe. Right, okay, well, um... Where does this go? Just out of interest? Let's see. Oh, this is the end of the hallway, is it? And there's nothing else here? I don't think so. Okay, well, let's uh, let's move on past the dining room, see what else we find. Yeah, okay, outside of a few things, this is actually pretty good so far. I'm seeing the, the flashlight swinging around left and right every now and then. That seems to be a bit, a bit you know, strange, but whatever. All right. We can go outside. Oh, hold on. Oh, we've got like an inner courtyard. The place is that big. Jeez Louise, okay. What the hell's that? My flashlight? Is there something through that window? No, I, I, I guess that's just like a weird reflection. Probably shouldn't be like that, but uh, yeah. Um, let's stay inside for the, uh, for the meantime. I guess I'll come back out later on. So, uh, yeah, just want to do the rounds, really. Turn on all the lights I can. Still haven't actually found a light switch. Alright, moving on then. What have we got through here? Yeah, you see what I mean? The flashlight just swivels around. It's like I, I put it away and then... Well, I don't know, maybe I'm just dicking around. Okay. 
What's that? Chess set? Oh boy. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is this is strange. It's a strange diagram. And apparently this must represent some sort of sequence. I wonder what it's for. No clues on the back. I'm not sure. What could that be referring to? Again, you know, like like most horror and puzzle games and mystery games and stuff that I played on the channel, if you want to just lend a hand, put a couple of comments down, that would be much appreciated. I actually might need your help. What could that be referring to? Is it referring to the chessboard? Is it... Black and white pieces, maybe? I'm not sure. Might not even be anything in this room. Maybe this is like... An end game kind of puzzle. Who knows? Who actually knows? Right, the phone, I guess, doesn't work. Is that another. Oh, okay, so we do get several points to save, which is quite nice, I suppose. Fireplace note. Okay, I found what seems to be a hint for a puzzle of some sort, but what do the circles represent? Is this for the secret room that this book mentions? I'm going to keep searching, even if I don't fully believe. It at least keeps my frantic thoughts occupied. Fair enough. Yeah. What about the bookshelf? Come on. Yeah, I don't think we can open cupboards and drawers and stuff in this game, it seems. Nothing there, no. Yeah, I'm just going to have to get used to the, the flashlight swinging around violently. Ah. Oh, are we on the other... Oh no, 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 this is a different one that's boarded up. Still can't, still can't get around this, and I still can't go under, no, or, or jump over, I didn't try that last time. Can I crouch jump? <laughs> oh well, okay, well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll be back later. Any clock puzzles to speak of? Let's take a look at that again. I would think with the chessboard right next to it, it, it would probably involve the chessboard, but I don't know. Any ideas? Let me know. Okay. I guess we are probably going to go outside now? Let's see. Don't think I missed a door on the way. Uh, this side? Yep. Yeah, let's go out to the courtyard. Right. Oh, is that like the statue that I saw at the... Yeah, so that's the, that's the main lobby. That's the entrance over there, so the back end is actually over there past what looks to be a clock tower. Let's see. Okay, I can have a little sneak peek through the windows. Don't know if there's anything else to do than that. Just looking for some more doors, really, or some more notes. Another boarded up door? But another boarded up door where I can open the door. I guess that's just the thing. Yeah, I need to find myself a crowbar. That's blocking me off from loads and loads of areas. Maybe there's just one lying around. Hopefully it's not out here, like hidden in the bushes. Crap. Okay. Yeah, again, a little bit of a sneak peek. A tree out here. Uh, yeah. I'm not seeing too much, really, unless there's something on the floor. I haven't really been looking down too much. A few cracked tiles, but I don't think that's a clue for anything. Could be. Let's not rule it out. No luck so far. I don't suppose I can open any of these windows, can I? And just sort of climb in. That'd be nice. I guess not. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, is it time to go upstairs then? It might be. Let's go back to the lobby area. So yeah, back this way. And it's nice to see that the lamps are still on. <laughs> yeah, back this way. And uh, let's see if there's any more doors on the ground floor. So there's that one, which I can't get through. No door there. Nothing tucked around here? No? 
These aren't actually notes, it seems. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, we are going up. Let's take a look at this statue. Uh, what? <laughs> am, I, am I stuck on a step? Bizarre. Okay, yeah, there's still, there's still a few bugs in this game. You're holding a horn? Okay. Ah, we do have a note, though. Uh, it looks a little bit different than all the others. Uh, today I tested the spirit fire on a dead crow. The results are beyond what I thought was possible. The fire began eating away at the flesh, but the crow began to twitch, like life itself had returned to this bird. I still don't know how, or if, this is connected to the veil. Did this fire originate from there? What else is beyond? I will dig deeper into any possible connections at a later date. Pa that says page 40. Holy shit, are we going to find 39 more? Maybe. Alright, which side? Does it matter? <laughs> it probably doesn't, actually. Uh, let's... God damn, what is up with the steps? Do you actually have to jump up? Yeah, guess so. Let's try the left side, then. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Another door that I could open? It's like the boards are always on the wrong side of the door, but, uh... Yeah, I, I can't get through. There's got to be something. There's got to be something, maybe in an area that I've already had a look at, that I could use to pry those off. I haven't actually picked up anything yet, have I? No, nothing at all. Nothing on the shelf. No books out of place. Okay, other side. What about this? No? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, okay, finally a door that isn't boarded up. It's nice to know that they do still exist. Right. Fairly uh, creepy atmosphere. I don't know if there is going to be any threat. The more I explore, the less likely it becomes. You know, worst case scenario, it's probably me roaming around an old mansion in the dark looking at a few notes. Hopefully it's a little bit more than that, but you never know, I guess. Right, let's get the, uh, let's get the lamp on. Is there something over there? There is. Brilliant. Oh, chapter one. Okay. Not like page 40. Uh, there was once a young knight named Sir William. Sir William loved to make adventures and was always exploring the world. He had a young sister who he protected from monsters. But one morning, Sir William woke up to find his sister missing. She was taken by an evil wizard and was keeping her in his dark and scary dungeons of his castle. Sir William wasn't scared of anything, though. And so he started on an adventure to the Evil Wizard's Castle. Written by William. Okay. <laughs> sure. And that's the, uh, that's the sun, I suppose, in the photo. Let's get this one on as well. Hmm. I have to say, the place doesn't look terribly bad. There's some things that are still in fairly good condition. <laughs> I do keep forgetting that you can pick up odd little things. But not every little thing. Oh no, no you can. It'd be nice actually if certain things were highlighted. Because I'm not exactly sure like, where my crosshair is sometimes. Maybe that's why I'm not picking certain things up. But uh, what the fuck is that? Wow. I can't grab that. That looks a little bit menacing, doesn't it? Right, okay. Well, there you go. Time to go? Could be time to go. What's this void about? It's like a doorway to something. <laughs> right, yeah. Let's go. This way? Straight into a bedroom, it looks like. Okie dokie. Right. Nice little reading light. I lost her. I tried everything, but I failed her. I failed our children. The doctor said it was a fever, but that was bullshit. It ended up being worse. I don't know what I'm feeling. Is it anger? Sadness? The worst part is, I can't control it. Mary, I love you. It was not your time. And there's nothing on the back. Okay, so yeah, he sounds pretty desperate, this guy. Which is why I suppose he's trying to resurrect her with this... strange thing that he, uh, he gave to a crow. Spirit fire. 
There's a chamber, there's some sort of circle. I, I've yet to find that. Maybe that's what the door was outside. Maybe it's like to a chamber. Oh, something else here. I've been feeling ill the past few days and it's been getting worse. Daniel invited the doctor over and has told me I have a dangerous fever. The doctor is dumbfounded as to what is causing this, but has prescribed me some medicine. I pray this helps. Well, that'll be Mary then. And unfortunately, it did not work. The side. Yeah, no, no drawers or anything to speak of. Can't actually get to the bed itself. Can't even jump on the bed by the looks of it. No. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Let's keep it going. Seems like a, a strange route to take. I mean, what are we going to find on, on this side? Loads more bookshelves. They are not short of bookshelves and books, are they? Certainly not. Or similar looking clocks. Is that another note? Yes, it is. Uh, okay. It's the introduction to a journal. Again, thankfully, we've actually started with page one. I've been asked by the Lord to bring my family to live in this home and protect the artifact and to study and document my findings and bring them to him. In turn, he promises immortality for me and my loved ones. I shall not let him down. The unborn will rise again and defeat death. My name is Thomas Hartwood and I am unborn. Isn't that the father? Okay, that's a bit of a strange turn. <laughs> Right, well, I guess that's why the game is called Unborn. Let's just put that down. I, I, I don't want it to, to do anything like the matchstick did to me, essentially. And especially if it smashes. Holy shit, what could happen? Okay. A discovery of a mysterious book, it seems. This book I found in the library. It's written by one of the family members that lived here before us. It speaks of resurrection and a fire that burns blue? What is this nonsense? This is offensive to the ones we've lost. Resurrection isn't real. He apparently wrote this for his lord, whoever that may be. And even speaks of a hidden chamber beneath the manor? This book is full of fake stories and false idols. I'll search this whole damned house for a chamber to prove this. Okay, well I guess I'll be following suit. That's exactly what I'm doing, really. I need to find this chamber. I need to see if resurrection is possible, I suppose. I need to find this spirit fire. Really hoping that the uh, that there's no subtle details or any keys or anything to pick up on any, any shelves. Because I've been walking past most of them pretty blasé and I haven't really been taking a good enough look, maybe. Still, they all seem to be kind of stock. And I don't think any of the books can be moved or anything like that, you know. Another save point? Sure, why not, why not. We've had a long run of doors that actually do open. Okay. Oh boy, okay, the door's locked. I'll need to find a key. Is this the is this might be what the reviewer was talking about? Maybe there's no way out of this room. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so what does this say? Okay, back to this writing again. This would be the the maid. The Hammersleys have officially taken me in as their maid. It has been a long while since I've stepped foot in this house. They haven't given me the key to the forest yet, but I should still have an old one hidden behind the lone tree. Now to begin the task I've been blessed with. Right, this is the, the maid that offered me a tour. Right? Key behind the lone tree. Well, it can't be a key for this door, right? It just couldn't be. Hmm, okay. Uh... Let's see, any more notes around here? Is that another place to save? I guess it would be. Do I want to save in a locked room? Maybe I don't. Maybe, yeah. Let's not save, so I've got a, a form of escape, essentially, I suppose. Okay, we've got a note over here. And what the, what is this? Oh! Oh, it's a safe. The combination must be wrong. Okay, well, here we go. This is certainly a puzzle. What does this say? Oh. Oh, okay. If the code escapes me, I can use these clues to remember. Where sound is frozen, 
north of Twelve, where horrors of the night take refuge. Elizabeth the Maid. Okay, so I guess one clue per number. Right. And it is just a single digit thing, I guess. Yeah, zero to nine. Okay, sure. Uh, well, I guess there's a thousand combinations I could try, or we could follow the clue. So, where sound is frozen, north of twelve, where horrors of the night take refuge. The sound is frozen. There's a guy over there playing an instrument. Is that it? Are you frozen? Because you, you're, you're painted? Of a fireplace. Oh, I see. Right. Uh, oh, hold on. Hold, hold on. Yeah. Oh, look at this. There's a three. Ah, oh, right. So there's a three. Perfect. So that was. Uh, right. That was. Was that the first one? I think that was the first one, wasn't it? So where sound is frozen. Three. There you go. Okay. So north of twelve. Let's focus on that one next. North of twelve. Right. North of twelve. Perfect. Is that a, oh? Is that a six or a nine though? I guess. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with six. So yeah, north of twelve. That's six. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is what I was after, really. Uh, where horrors of the night take refuge. Right. Well, again, like the others, it's got to be somewhere in this room, hasn't it? Isn't that blood? I think it is. There is like a bottle of wine, though. I guess eh, let's let's assume it's wine. The horrors of the night take refuge. The bed, the bed, especially especially at night. Can we? Oh, we can pick up the pillows. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. What well, is there anything on the pillow? I suppose we can pull up the mattress or move this aside. Anything down here? Anything under the bed? I suppose it would be under the bed, wouldn't it? Not seeing anything or anything maybe engraved on the bed itself. Oh, hold on! Oh, wait, wait. Oh, it's on a book. It's it's number four. It's no okay. It's number four. Great, great. Okay. Okay, maybe maybe it is nine. No. Okay, let's put it back to six. It was that was that was definitely three, wasn't it? Where was it? This way. Whoa! G okay. Do not stand on things and pick them up. Christ, you could just break things. Probably the game. Okay, so just very slowly. No! <laughs> okay, I'm not even standing on it. Right. It, it, is, it is actually three. I'm just going to put this very gently on the sofa, okay? Okay. You stay there, and I'll stay here. So it's three, four... So, okay, I think I've got the numbers right. I guess it's just in some random order. Okay, well let's try six, three, four. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Uh, so what do we got? An old magnifying glass found in the maid's room. This might be of some use. Okay, this is the first item we can actually take. So there you go. And that's it. Okay. Cool. So let's see. Uh, oh, I see. So the items are actually down here. And we can have a look. This doesn't, like, double up as a key, does it? Why is it of some use? Well, I guess let's use it. No, no, what, no, don't drop it. Shit. Hold on. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, Jesus Christ. Can I not pick that up again? Oh, wait. No, there you go. Just have to get it from the, uh, from the right point. Okay. Yeah, uh, I don't want to try that again. Uh, do we need to look at something in great detail in here? Where could the key be? Not hanging under the fireplace or anything like that, is it? I don't think so. And it hasn't just miraculously opened. No, it doesn't look like it. In the suitcase. Can we drag this out? No. Oh shit, hopefully I don't suffer the same fate that the reviewer did. Maybe the, uh, maybe this is a certain bug that hasn't been fixed. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Okay, well there's another magnifying glass there. 
Uh, I don't know what's so what is so special about this one. If there's one just laying out here, it looks more or less the same. There's no engravings on the handle. I don't think it doubles up as a key. Can't pick this one up though, to be honest. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from that. Nothing hanging from the ceiling? No. Okay, I tell you what, tell you what. I've been playing for quite a while already, so this is, I think, where I'm going to end part one of Unborn. I will continue looking for this key to get out, and when I find it, I'll start part two. Alright? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hopefully. Can we go around the side? Oh, no. We didn't actually bring anything with us. It's always nice when you play as someone who came prepared. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? Well, I've got one. I don't know where the other one went, but I've got one. I'm going to put it back where it was. <laughs> and I know... Whoa! Okay. Let's take a look at this statue. Uh, what? That was that was definitely three, wasn't it? Where was it? This way. Whoa! G okay. Do not stand on things and pick them up. Christ, you could just break things. I'm just going to put this very gently on the sofa, okay? Okay. You stay there, and I'll stay here.